Now, sa video po na ito, we are going to discuss the effect of density at constant trap. And also, we are going to discuss ano po yung maximum cargo na pwede mong ikarga sa iyong barko within this topic, okay? So, start tayo. Oh, yeah, by the way, before po I continue, I just wanna say po, if you're hearing background noises, kasi, you know, may mga inaayos po dito, may nire-restart po dito sa aking location. So, again, excuse po yung mga hampas ng, ano, ng uh, martilyo, ganyan. So, then again, tuloy tayo. When the vessel is floating in water density other than salt water at constant draft, few of the tabulated particles alter displacement, TPC, and moment to change trim. Now, pagbasa po natin ng hydrostatic particulars natin, o hydrostatic tables, I should say, kailangan po maunawaan natin na yung mga values dito is naka-indicate na, uy, nasa salt water ako. So, ang displacement mo, TPC, and moment to change trim is complying sa salt water density. The moment na ang barko mo pumunta ka sa salt water density to, let's say, 1.009. O, ibang ano na yun, brackish na yun. So, then again, magbabago ang displacement TPC and MCTC so you have to correct them it is therefore essential sabi dito that when the vessel is floating in water density other than salt water or sea water the hydrostatic particular sinabi ko kanina obtained from the hydrostatic table must be corrected corresponding to the density before application for calculation so ito po yung base na uh, formula okay new displacement over new density salt water displacement over salt water density Pag dinerive po natin ito and gusto natin makuha yung displacement, actual displacement equals salt water displacement times new density divided by salt water density. Okay? So, gayon, ito sa baba, sometimes your vessel is instructed to load maximum cargo at certain draft restrictions in port where the water density is other than 1.025. To obtain the correct maximum loadable cargo, the displacement obtained sa ating hydrostatic table sa, tandaan po natin, ito, tatandaan nyo ito, ay pang salt water. Hence, must be corrected, kailangan mong i-correct bilang isang uh, cargo officer, corresponding to the water density or aspiring cargo officer to the water density to get the actual displacement. The dock light ship to obtain dead weight, then subtract the non-cargo dead weights and constant to get the maximum loadable cargo quantity the ship can load. Maximum cargo, ito yung formula. Okay, maximum cargo equals actual displacement minus yung sum ng light ship, non-cargo dead weights, tsaka ng constant. Ito, may example ako na nilagay dito. Finding the maximum loadable quantity when vessel is floating in water density other than salt water. Si MV Egeo po ay uh, binigyan kami ng instruction na mag-load kami ng, uh, let's just say, uh, you know, mag-load kami dito sa maximum na draft restriction na 12 meters. O naka-even kill to, ha? In a water density of 1.018 tons per cubic meter. Ang kanyang, uh, her calculated, her calculated non-cargo dead weights are, eto po, sa ibaba, 750, 3, uh, 30, 200, balas water, 150 metric tons. With constant na 270 tons. Okay? So, again, Hanapin natin dito yung maximum loadable cargo quantity. Oh, lagay din natin dito yung tinatawag natin na light ship. Lagay din natin yung light ship. Okay, na merong... Ano ba yung light ship niya dito? As per my table. Alright, 10,815. Alright. So, yung light ship. Tons. Ayan. Ito yung ating mga details. So, ngayon, since naka-even kill ka, ang TMD natin dito is saktong 12. Alright. Uh, so, ano yung TMD? Ang number 1 kasi sabi, find out ang TMD. Eh, ang TMD natin is 12 meters. Uh, even kill naman tayo eh. Tapos number 2, obtain the displacement corresponding to true mean draft of 12 meters. So, nandito po sa akin ngayon, yung aking uh, uh, hydrostatic tables, I will be posting din sa screen as well. Uh, so, ang nakalagay sa akin dito, ang displacement ko is, yan, displacement is equals to 73,108.09 tons. Okay, habaan natin to para maintindihan din ng tao. Yan. Sige, isa pa. Tons. Tapos, lagay din natin dito yung tinatawag natin ng mga given. O, yung mga non-cargo dead weights. Non-cargo dead weights. O, equals o, 750 para sa fuel oil plus natin yung diesel oil plus fresh water is 200 metric tons plus yung balas water natin is 150 metric tons may constant pa tayo na 270 tons okay 
Tapos sa may ibaba, lagay pa natin light ship. Yan, ito yung mga given natin. Yan. All right. Sige. Pag hinanap natin yung actual displacement, ano ba yung formula sa itaas? Yung nilagay ko dito sa itaas, actual displacement, salt water displacement times new density divided by salt water density. Or lagay natin mo, lagay natin diyan. Oh. Salt oh, new or let's just say actual displacement equals salt water displacement which is ito 73,000 kasi ang hydrostatic tables ko po ang naka-declare sa kanya dito is lahat ng displacement lahat ng TPC is for 1.025 so salt water displacement times new density divided by salt water density all right equals all right salt water displacement 73 oops 73,108.09 yeah times times natin sa ating new density na 1.1.018 oh, ito yung sa taas so 1.018 kasi dito tayo papunta eh. oh, ngayon i-divide natin siya sa salt water density na 1.025 all right sige tingnan natin sagot tayo Uh, 73,108.09 Okay, times 1.018 uh, Divided by 1.025 So, ito yung ating actual displacement 72,609.8 uh, Next Ngayon, since nakuha natin itong ano, uh, actual na, ano, na displacement Akit naman tayo dito sa itaas uh, Dito, may pin repair ako dito eh Oh. Yan, ito para mas maunawaan Meron tayong displacement at 12 meter Ito po yung note ko sa gilid Ito po yung nasa loading manual Ito po ha, ah, ito Yan oh, salt, water salt water density Okay At loading manual Ito yung kanyang displacement Pero po, ang displacement natin sa 1.018 Okay, ano yung sagot dito? 72 Okay, 1,608 0.8 ito po yung ating isasagot. So ngayon, ano po ba yung formula? So ngayon, we have to minus, okay, subtract light shift of the ship. So 72, all right? Tingnan natin na, sa ning calcule. Oh. 72608, oh sige. Minus light shift 10815, okay? Equals 61,000 ito ang dead weight mo 61,000 okay ayan uh, 61 up na wala 61,793.8 yan there we go sige dead weight at 12 meters Ayun, again, ano ba instruction? Subtract the total, okay, non-cargo dead weight. Ito yung mga non-cargo dead weight. Eh. Oh. So, yung 61,793 mo, babawasan pa natin ngayon yan. Oh. So, yung 61,793, okay, we have to minus, minus again, 1,130. Okay, subtract total non-cargo dead weight. Zoom out natin. Yan, and constant. Yan, equals, minus pa yung constant. Pwedeng ganyan, 270. Okay. Ngayon, ito yung maximum loadable quantity, 60,393.8 60, 60,393.8. Okay, cargo can load at load at uh, cargo can load at 12 meters at 1.018 regardless po ng aking sag or hag or hug, I should say. Okay, regardless po ng deflection natin. So again, ito po yung maximum loadable quantity. Bahala na po kayo. Okay, now on the next Uh, videos, i-discuss ko kung paano nyo i-distribute to. Ayan o, no? distribute maximum loadable hold wise to achieve a desired trim. Maximum cargo can load at certain draft restrictions will be achieved on even kill completion. Again, ito, naglagay na ako ng definition dito para hindi ka may mahirapan. Maximum cargo, which is 60,393.8 tons. Distribute it hold wise to achieve yung desired trim. Okay. So then again, okay, alam ko pong kulang pa po ito pero binigyan ko lang kayo ng pahapyaw para malaman mo yung 
maximum loadable quantity na pwedeng ikarga ng iyong barko pag nag-email ang charterer mo sa'yo na, oy, hanggang 12 meters na ano, ito yung draft mo, hanggang 12 meters ka lang, tapos may ano ka pa, density na 1.018. Ilan ang pwede kong ilagay na gano'ng kabigat? Ito, sir, ito, 60,393 po ng kargada ang pwede ko pang ipasok sa aking bodega. So then again, hope you guys learn something new, be happy, be healthy, and most importantly po, keep safe, to God be all the glory. Ingat kayong lahat. I am publishing my third officer crash course for our deck cadets and deck ratings who have little to no idea on how the job of a third mate is on board the ship. Sure, you can watch 60 to 70 or 80 of my videos here on my YouTube channel, but to save you time okay, and energy, I have compiled this lesson for you to so save you time save you money save you energy and also i want you to be promoted during a quarantine okay because a lot of companies today are desperate on finding a competent third officer but then again mm, it's kind of difficult right now because everybody is in solitary confinement i am here to guide you so you will never experience having Philip, I am so scared of getting the next promotion as a third mate. Philip, I am so afraid of grabbing the next recommendation as a third mate. Well, then again, fear not. I am here to guide you on your next duty. Okay? Again, being a third mate is not that difficult on board the ship. The reason why it's difficult is because you lack the knowledge. On this third officer crash course, I have compiled a series of lessons for you. May you have the wisdom that you have been searching and I want you to be the next third officer of our country. I am publishing my bridge management manual for deck cadets and deck ratings. Now, this is a compilation of all the manuals, procedures, steps, wisdom that we have actually applied on board the ship. Unlike any other books that, you know, so much wisdom but you don't really use it on board. This bridge management manual that I have compiled, this was used actually applied on board our ship all you have to do is read it now this manual is a combination of gmdss refresher worth 4200 pesos generic ecdis refresher 2500 pesos ssbt refresher worth 2500 pesos now also this is also a com combined this generic okay 3000 pesos ssbt with brm worth 4000 pesos third mate familiarization with full mission bridge simulator 4500 pesos passage planning with chart correction 3600 pesos radar navigation radar plotting and use of arpa operational level 5200 pesos radar arpa bridge teamwork and search and rescue management 4800 pesos radar simulator course 4,100 pesos Steering course 1,500 pesos Automatic identification system 1,600 pesos Shipboard safety operation For deck ratings 4,100 pesos Okay? I've stated a lot of courses here In this bridge management manual Okay? This is you know, this isn't only just limited for the bridge management But also, you know, a snippet of other jobs On board the ship Okay? Now, I have uh, compiled it here okay and i will publish it and now it's online for google play and or gumroad okay you can just pick whatever site you are comfortable at okay may you have the wisdom that you wanted for your next position if you are still you know you are a decadet or a decorating who are you know not really confident on your next job you want to become a deck officer this bridge management manual is for you for this price okay i have compiled it we have actually applied it on board okay and you don't need to worry that much all you have to do is read this manual and actually apply it now if you have any questions you can always hit me up okay at online third at gmail.com i will be active on answering all of your questions or confusion regarding your next job may you become the third officer and second officer that you truly desire take good care